Hey everyone, it's Julie. Um, it is Tuesday, um, January 26th. Um, today I want to talk about uh, taking chances um, and being brave and taking risks and stuff like that. Um, you may or may not know that, um, well you probably know I teach history and English um, but I also teach AP Psychology. So this year I'm teaching AP Psychology, which means it's a college level course for older high school kids. Um, for those of you who may not know. Um, and we're in the motivation unit. How do you become motivated? And um, what kinds of things are motivational and that kind of thing. And and what kinds of um, physiological things are motivational, like hunger and thirst and sex and all sorts of stuff. I get to talk about sex with teenagers. Yay. <laughs> Not really. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> anyway, um, but today I had to talk about hunger. And part of the unit on hunger was about weight loss surgery. Um, some of you know, some of us in the group may not have had weight loss surgery, but I think a lot of us have. But anyway, um, so I've had weight loss surgery, for those of you who just watch Green Lighting the Day. And it's something I don't really talk about. I don't say, hey, I was morbidly obese. And then I had three quarters of my stomach taken out and now I'm not. Um, anyway, so I put in, I talked to the kids and I, you know, we have a good time talking back and forth and so we were talking about hunger and um, Yesterday I was debating whether I should talk about weight, my weight loss surgery and I said, nah, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want, you know, 17-year-olds and 18-year-olds talking to me about my weight loss surgery. I don't want to talk about it. Today I got to class and we we're I was going through the hunger and blah, blah, blah. And, and they were asking questions about people who would get their stomach stapled and stuff like that. So I talked about it. And I showed a picture of myself beforehand and afterwards. And, you know, um, there's a correlation between getting Alzheimer's and being morbidly obese, especially in women. Um, anyway, so we were talking all about that. And, and they said, well, why did you do it? And I said, because I wanted to be healthy. I said, I'm obviously not super skinny anymore. And I said, I was at one time. But I said, I couldn't maintain six to 800 calories and even 1,000. It was just really hard. And um, So anyway, I did it. <laughs> My point is, is that um, sometimes things you don't want to talk about, things that you don't want to be brave about, sometimes things you don't want to reveal about yourself, end up, you end up having to do it anyway. And so I did. And I don't know what the outcome will be. Because <laughs> I just don't willy-nilly announce stuff. I mean, I think it's, for me, it's a very private thing. It was a very private decision. Um, somehow it's easier to talk about online than it is <laughs> to, real, to people right in front of you. But um, nonetheless interesting. It was funny. One, one of the 12th graders, you know, I showed him a picture before and after, and he was like, he goes, well, which one is before? <laughs> <laughs> because I'm kind of in the middle right now. They're like, well, which one's before? And I'm like, the fatter one. <laughs> um, 
And he's like, well, you look much better. You know, kind of backtracking. You look much better now. I was like, okay. <laughs> but it, it was something I didn't really want to talk about. And I think that there's um, sometimes we just have to leap in with both feet, whether we want to or not. And if it works out, it works out. We can't really spend our lives worrying about what other people think about us and what we've done with our lives. Because if we do, we're not really living. We're worrying about them and not focused on what's ahead of us. And so, yeah. Living my mantra with looking forward and not looking back. So there we go. Be brave. Look forward. Leap into it. <laughs> Who knows what will happen? It could be good, right? All right. Talk to you guys later. Have a great day. Bye.